is a tutorial how to replace the water valve cover on a Kenmore model 623.384200 I think I will put the number right now what the model is it started leaking a few days ago I already disconnected and I call a friend of mine that does uh, you know installing and removing replacing fixing he told me that one of the possibilities was the water valve cover this model has been with me as you can see for about nine years there's a lot of things being removed so it's really easy to remove the cover disconnect and push in the bypass probably you won't see but see there's water and it was like leaking very very slowly and you can see a little bit of water coming down to remove the face plate, all you gotta do is just push here this way. And there's all the electronics. So there's a lot of cables that won't mess with. This is the light, so it goes there. That's easy to see. This is the this is the eight bolt, not the five. So be aware of that. So I already removed this. So that's why I'm doing it with my hand. You need to use a Phillip driver. And there's the sprocket, the little motor. And that's how it looks. I recommend taking a picture of this. So you know where it is, how it is. Lucky for me, guess what? I do not have to order a new one because I have this water softener that was, well, used to belong to my daughter. Something happened, came defective, and they never replace it. It is the same. It has uh, eight bolts. So I'm gonna do a easy swap. Just get it out and install it on the other one. All right, I'm back to the faulty one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so first thing will be to remove this clamp. Orange, green. I'm going to remove all of the components and clean this for the donor parts. Careful not to damage in place you need to reuse them. I'm going to remove the top part completely. I'm going to disconnect the electronics and this one, I guess. And yeah, this one that connects to the little motor. Five sixteen.
So this is what happened. That's why this system was removed. All of that contamination. So I'm going to remove the seals to use it on my new one. This is a newer model. This is probably two years old. Mine is about 10. So I'm going to remove these and probably use it on my system. And I'm going to clean these really good. We need to add some silicone grease to the seals. You saw that this is the groove. And then I'm going to place it. One. Again, there's a groove in there, and this goes down. So I'm going to just apply silicone underneath, don't know if that's the way to go. And I'm going to put some silicone on the top, around it, everywhere, so it seals. Not too much, not too little, depends how you feel. <laughs> I mean, there's no way this can go wrong. So. Place it. There's only one way. Same fashion. The round kind of flat that there's no groove. The groove goes down. Okay, so you will feel the groove. Use your fingernail. So you will feel that groove. And I don't know if I'm overdoing it or putting too much, too little. I guess I will find out now that I know it's easy to remove and this can go only one way again so you cannot go wrong there it is apply silicone to the big O-ring. All right, one more little bit. Good to go. Goes there. And I'm gonna add a little bit more so it kind of sticks to the surface. Sorry about the flickering, sorry about whatever happens. This is a, a Note 3, so that's that. I will align it as best as I can. There you go. Next part is to drive all the screws. Then you can start tight. You gotta stop, like uh, you don't have to go any further. Stop, stop. It stop. Okay, I'm going a little bit over. Once you stop, just going like 30, don't know, 64 of a turn. This one still, that's it. That's it. This one still gets a little bit, a little bit, nothing. This one gave a little bit more. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm about to stop right here. Yeah. All right. Good. Let's do it. 
there's these flat which is that and this is how it was don't know how this worked so I'm gonna just leave it at that okay so let's undo this okay so there's only one way to come in so you won't also messed up okay removing that perfect okay now let's connect these two here it has three one two three all right here it is and again this cannot go wrong right here you go Okay guys, let's uh, connect these I guess. Alright, let's uh, open these and... Wait, I think I screw up. I should have... I think I should first... Move the bypass. Here it goes, nothing. Okay, I'm done with that. There's no leaks. I align it how I originally found it. However, I'm gonna have a friend to come and take a look at it, see if it's gonna work fine. So this is how you remove and install a new water valve cover on this Kenmore water softener 623.384200. I think well again model number below thanks for watching I hope this helps take care